three, two, one. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are back with another daily video. Today, what do we have? We have the Life Straw. The Life Straw, everyone, I'm not sure if you've heard of this, but apparently this device, this mechanism, whatever you want to call it, is essentially a big straw that filters 99.9% percent of bacteria from any sort of liquid and turns it into water so whether that's been like mucky water or a normal drink so we're going to test this out and see if this is real because it does it doesn't seem that legit basically with the diagram there like that's what i'm going to be doing it looks a bit weird but let's get into this also as well i just want to point out this cost me 20 quid 20 pounds have instructions we don't really need these to be honest Right, so this is the device here. It's got a string attached to it. I'm not sure what for. I think it goes around your neck or something, right? Like, oh, there you go. We're gonna we're gonna put it around our neck for safety, I guess. But anyway, here we have the life straw here. Um, as you let's just take this off a second. That's the bit that goes into the liquid. This is the bit where, which you suck out of. Weirdly to say, but. Yeah, let's just get into this. So what we have here is a selection of different liquids ranging from a big bottle, and I mean, oh wow, look how big this bottle is, by the way, of three litre uh, original Coca-Cola, uh, zero sugar, no calories, well, uh, debatable that is. So we've got normal uh, milk here. Well, we have semi-skimmed milk, the average milk you would have in your household. We also have chocolate milk here, and we also have Finally, McDonald's vanilla milkshake. And then also, of course, we have the life straw. And of course, we have the two liquids. One's going to be filled with the preferred liquid. And then we're going to be using this straw to suck up, spit back in there, and see how much water we can get out of it. Right, so what should we go for first? We have a lot of options. I reckon we go for the Coke, the, the big big boy Coke. So let's put this, let's, you know, let's, go, let's go for the big boy Coke. The, the fresh, I mean, this is, this, is, this is like a couple of kg here in itself. Oh, okay, yeah, we're going for this glass first. We're going to pour in this glass. Look at that. That should be enough, that should be enough, that should be enough. Right, now we've got in here, I wonder how much, or if any, water is going to come out of this, because I can't imagine Coke being so sugary and the amount of chemicals in it to take 99.99% of bacteria out. Uh, I'm not sure if it makes it go completely white or not, but we're going to try it. Let's go. I'm quite nervous. I, want, I actually want this to work. Like, I think it'll be good. All right, okay. Three, two, one. Oh, apparently, I've read the instructions. You have to really like... All right, okay. Right now, we're going for the pure Coca-Cola. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, my God. As you can see, okay, it, this is interesting because it hasn't, the, it's not water, but if you look at the colour difference, there's a lot to tell it. You can see this one, the normal Coca-Cola is full of chemicals, different things. This is what you should be drinking, and this is what we are actually drinking. So we're being conned by Coca-Cola. I'm going to actually taste this now because it's interesting to see because this has got like all sorts in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to taste test this now and see how it tastes. No, 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 that is disgusting. I'm sorry, I know there's chemicals in the normal Coca-Cola, but this, it's just much better. It's just got the fizz in it, it's got the taste. That tastes like mucky, like, I don't even know. It just tastes like like lifeless Coca-Cola. So that's a no from me. All right, so after that first one, I washed out my palate, my mouth. Um, yeah, that was very interesting. Next, we're gonna go for the your semi-skimmed milk as you see here. Um, milk's gonna be interesting because I'm not sure how much of milk contains water. I'm not sure if it even does at all. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you feel like this is gonna filter like as good as the other one did. Oh, look at that. I, I love a good glass of milk. A glass of milk and cookies at night, cool. That's what you want. Uh, all right, okay. All right, let, let's get it, let's go. Three. This is unusual. Two, one. That's so weird. It's basically, it's almost, the, it's just almost the same. That might mean then that there's not much water in milk at all. Surprisingly, I don't think there is. 
Let's do that again. Oh, th yeah, exactly. There's not much in there. We're going to have a taste test with this though, if it tastes like milk or not. To be fair, it does. It does just does taste like just normal milk, but it has a hint of the Coca-Cola left in there from last time. So that that is a that's a no from me. All right, next up we have the McDonald's vanilla milkshake, and this is going to be very interesting because I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same as the milk. But we're just going to do it anyway. Everyone lo loves the uh, McDonald's or McDonald's if you're from America um, milkshake. We're going to pour this into here like so. Jeez, look at that. Right, there's not much in here because I did just drink it on the way getting this. Yes, I know. But without further ado, let's go. Three, two, one. Mmm. Ooh. All right, okay. So, as predicted, pretty much the same color. Pretty much. Let's just try it anyway. Tastes, that's actually nice, banging. Tastes exactly the same. On to the next one. All right, so the next one we have is chocolate milk in a glass bottle, as you can see here. Normal chocolate milk. I think this is like some luxury dairy, something like that. Shake well, uh, serve chilled, so. That should be an, oh, guys, how's it fizzing up? It's bubbling up. Without further ado, I love this sort of chocolate milk. Oh, give this video a thumbs up if you also love drinking chocolate milk. All right, let's go. Oh, tasty. Look at that. That should be enough because I do actually want to save this for later. Life straw, please welcome me this time. I feel like it's not going to do anything because first of all, it might take the colour out, maybe, a bit of the colour. Let's go. Three, two, one. It smells nice. Go on, go. Honestly guys, like doing this is actually like, it's hurting my mouth. It's like the equivalent of, do you know you get blocked for like loads of balloons? It's just like a pain around your mouth. But without further ado, let's go. Let's test this. Uh, exact, as you can see, exact same colour. But exactly the same. Do you know what I mean? Like, live straw, that it doesn't always work. But to be fair, I'm not sure you're meant to be using it for these types of scenarios. All right, next we have tap water. We're going to test tap water and see how dirty UK and in more in particular London tap water is. So let's go. Right now we are filling up the glass of water with some tap water. This is real right here. Look at that. As you can see 100% clear tap water. Let's go. Right, this is the one I'm most like intrigued about. Is UK water actually really clean? Like, Is it fresh as they say? Tap Normal tap water. Let's go. You ready? Three, two, one. Mmm, mmm. Alright, go, let's go again. I'm not gonna lie, when I first done this, I thought this was completely clean. But after seeing this now, I'm not sure if you can see this, but this water looks a lot more clearer than that water. So what's actually happened is, this water looks more clear than that water. And the reason is because I've taken all the muck out of that. So that just shows that the British water is not as clean as it says it is. All right, now that all of these are done, we're gonna take the live straw and we're gonna go out into the open world and try it in some real life survival scenarios. Because that's what this live straw is meant to be. It's meant to be like a survival kit if you're out in the wilderness and you just need to drink from fountains or lakes and so on. Let's go. <sighs> I guess we are back with another voice message because for some reason I decided not to bring a microphone with me and now you can just hear the sound of wind. So here you go. Right, so we are in like, basically the jungle, Virginia waters. If, you're not have, if you haven't been here, but like, if you're in a different country, just fly over to come here because it's just a beautiful place, the sun's out, the sun's actually out, it's a bit windy though, but we've got the live straw, there's old people everywhere for some reason, and we're going to test the water and see how purified it is. I mean, that water there, I don't think I'd like to taste because it's a bit mucky. Um, I would want to try it though. My problem is that like, 
I'm gonna get down there and I, I decided to bring the fresh whiteies again. I do this every time, I just forget the fact that I'm just gonna get dirty. Alright, okay, so we're gonna be in this map up in this mountain in three, two, one. Alright, so this is so strange. Every time I've been here in my life, you've come here as a child, you can be able to go up here. But now, for some reason, if you read that sign, there's a restriction sign saying that you can't go in there. But you know what we're doing? There's a fence here. We're gonna jump over the fence, of course. We're doing this, but you know what? Yola! Oh, no, don't, don't ever say Yola. Oh! I hope I don't get like captured in the police gun or something. But... Yeah. Cameraman, pass the camera and then you come over as well. Look at this. Like it is just pure in the wilderness right here now. We have to climb up all of that up there. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> and we're here, we are on top uh, in the restricted area. We shouldn't really be here. Even says that Virginia Waters Cascade Danger Guardian. Wait, guardians, please keep your children. You know, I'm not a children. I'm not a children. Yeah, so we're here. Um, this is the skipping stone bit. We're gonna try some of this fresh water here now. And let's do it. Oh, really? This water here. Oh, oh, oh. I'm actually scared because this door, water is mucky as hell. Everyone's looking at me because I shouldn't be here, but that's, this is the outcome. It's quite mucky. I think we're going to have to have a take that taste test. Alright, are you ready? Three, two, one. Not bad. I'm not going to lie, it doesn't taste, it doesn't taste like tap water. It actually probably tastes better, I'm not going to lie. It's more purified and things like that. It definitely tastes better. It doesn't look as clean, but I think that's meant to be it, it's meant to be that mucky vibe, you know. But yeah, now let's go over to the lake. Right guys, I did not think it would come down to this. We're at a lake, one of the most dirtiest lakes I've ever seen. Like, it's not exactly form of beach, let's just say that. Alright, okay. We're going to take a sip now and try and filter this water out somehow. My hands get wet, but... Oh, well what's happened here then? Our friend Mr. Wind has taken over again. Um, so yeah, sorry about this I guess. Just enjoy the wind. Take a sip of this now. Yeah. Oh, not good, no. That's a, that's a minus two from me. I don't know why I'm scoring this, but that is disgusting. That is pure lake water. Are, are, are you are you serious now? Come on! This is the third time this has happened. This video, okay, whatever. Uh, nevertheless, this is the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching today. We tested out the live straw. Surprisingly, worked quite well on some liquids. Didn't quite work on as well as on some of the others. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below, turn on the notification bell. I'm uploading every single day. Be sure to strike your dreams and in a bit.